What's up guys? This is the Roveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play is the Kingdom of Portugal and in this episode we are assaulting the city of Calcutta and destroying Maratha power in the east. They do have a garrison force to try and stop us but it is very much a weak garrison force so let's get to it. Uh, we are going to want to quick climb the bejesus out of them before we can attack because they've got a lot of Hindu warriors and they will do quite a lot of damage to my company infantry because they are angry fellows with swords and shields. Um, but once we do this, we will we will get a better view on what armies they have in the east. But I believe the end of the Marathas is here because we've just obliterated them and it's gone very well. Very well and quite quickly actually for an Indian invasion. But there we are. Let's get set up. Get our guns set up. We want our howitzers, chuck in as much quick climb as we can get. Don't have any specific plans for the infantry yet. We will make them after our bombardment. We've got two general's bodyguards in this army. We do, but only one actual general. Neat. Right. I don't. Im I can't imagine they will sally. Sometimes they do. Oh my god! You hit there. You hit here. That is all of their. All of their men are in this block. Oh, holy Jesus! <laughs> So dumb. Spread them out. You go for there. You go. For... Oh no, this one has to go here. You guys going for just a section of the wall? Doesn't really need to matter which, because that was devastating. So one volley. Trying to hurt me. I killed two of my crewmen. I knocked out one of my guns. They may have caused one of my gunners to bugs. Let's give them a new target. There we go. Shells away. This is... this is silly. Gunners, are you aiming at what I want you to aim at? Is it because you're in a group? Yeah, now the gunners are actually... Okay, let's start to get you guys to actually focus more on the mortar crews themselves. It's usually the bad idea to try and... To get into what get involved with counter battery with the mortar. They still aren't shooting. Stupid thing. We've made this battery bug out. There we go. Shells away. This is the this is the one that's doing it. So if we can knock out some of their crew and slow them down a bit. See, so they've done it again. They've not. They're not actually hitting anything. How odd. That's really weird. 
the guns aren't actually very well. Let's limber you up and then we will move you. My howitzers just keep firing. Let's say focus on the mortar crew, but for now, well, let's try and get you over here, maybe. Maybe it is all the trees. Yeah, see the mortars, so defensive mortars are able to put out, are able to be a lot more consistent in their damage than my mortars ever are. Limber you up. Didn't really need my mortars to do. Didn't really need my mortars to do uh, excellent work, but the main challenge was was that I was expecting my artillery to get in, so the mortars would have different targets. But apparently, they will not. So you men get out of the way. See, now you're automatically... Okay, good. But then all of them... We got you, man, and Limbo. We got one last gun. We're going to lose an entire artillery team because they're just going to get mortared, get killed eventually. See, this is what I was expecting to have happen. Knock down... Knock down the walls. And then advance my line, and their mortars suddenly have to pick two to shoot at, but... Apparently not. Switch to round shot. Keep picking away at their mortar crews. My artillery. Engage the next target. I mean, these guys have been thinned out a lot, so I'm not complaining. There you go, more mortar more, more batteries are getting ready. Just keep on running. Push the cavalry up, because mortars like shooting at cavalry, so let's not send my general out. Three of you set up outside the walls. You men just run up to the walls. The carcass shot away. On squeezing. I'm gonna to need to push my general up because those mortars are gonna cause him to be cause them to be very upset. I hate when they do this. For some reason they decide, you know what, let's go in single file rather than as a formation. And it, I have no idea what causes it. You just have to give them another order. Cancel whatever it was you were planning to do with them. There we go. Hindu warriors are are going to sally and charge. Oh, no, they're not. So you men are going to go through the breach here. Kill the few men there. But there we go, we're going to start scaling the walls, that's going to provoke them to come out. Get my hussars up. 
Oh, curious here. Uh, okay. Push in. If we take the gates, that will be ideal. Human hold. You're the second wave. Carabiner, fire off, just run in. Curacier are ready. Oh, nuked one to the rear. But as they come through. This line infantry commit and engage the native in the um, pop the, their armed populace. Slaughter their garrison troops. Well, there are more to garrison units. You men push in through the main gate because it is ours. Company troops attack their Hindu warriors. Oh, let's cease fire because that just killed a bunch of our guys trying to shoot into the centre. Push through the gates. Push the cavalry through. Send one unit to the centre to help our light cavalry. Send another unit around the flank to support the men in the breach. Maybe we'll kill the enemy general. Get our cuirassier in. Go after the Hindu warriors. Excellent. So the men in the breach have broken. There's a unit up here that's trying to still fight on the walls. Actually, they've all broken. Oh, well, almost. Um, Populist charge the firelock arm. No, they're routing as well. There you go, everyone broke. There you go, my gorillas are sniping at the men that are trying to flee. But the city is taken, and let's. This, sit, this army may end up staying in India as a garrison army because it's not super interesting. So, have they got any troops? No, they have no troops in Calcutta, so. Yeah, the enemy, the Muratha faction are in serious trouble. They are in very serious trouble. Uh, they have no troops on the way between Asnik Barabad. We're attacking Udaipur. Nerun is also in trouble. And that, so right now the limiting factor is how quickly our troops can get up to the front. This fellow may push for Nerun instead. Let's make sure our roads are as good as they could be. Which they are for the most part. Right, you, Roberto Marquez, let's attack the garrison of the Dipo. Then that will... Then, that means India has two or three cities, maybe. 
land against us. That's not going to be great for them. Uh, then once India's taken, it's, smash, it's time to smash through the Middle East and then mop up Europe. Right, get my guns up on the high ground. The enemy has mortars. Let's get my frontiersman on the right flank. Bowmen stick behind the line. My native, actually, they, they'll be better off on the right flank. You've got a bit more room to manoeuvre. Get my howitzers firing at key troops of interest. Let's get my get my army redeployed. Tribal auxiliary. Let's get them up on the hill. So my gunners can engage. Well, they're not going. They're not going to engage at will. I'm going to pick targets for them. Yeah, mortars are always scary. This terrain is. Pants. That's the heavy cavalry, that's not ideal. Mob them. Okay, that's their garrison Hindu warriors pushed back. Try and engage one of these infantry units. See if we see if a, uh, a big charge will cause them to break. But while they're doing that, this unit's going to run around the flank. Actually, break through, push through. You go. You're getting the polygar. Light cavalry break and run. One heavy cavalry unit go for the mortars, another heavy cavalry unit go for. Gee, maybe get my bows over on this front. Pipe auxiliary are in, a in for a bad. in a bad way. But they're just holding up the enemy melee troops for now. Garrison mortars are being intercepted by my heavy cavalry. There's a lot, yeah, they, my mounted tribal auxiliary were going to break. Send you two square off against them. Frankly, everyone else. Pivot. Just run away. There goes our other unit of native auxiliary. That's understandable. They sent a much larger force against us than is ideal. Seek warriors broke. A few men can knock out that garrison unit already. 
get over here and help against the camel gunners. Pull back the cavalry because they keep jumping on us. They broke anyway. Get the camel gunners, then run. Hit the armed populace. This is a bit dicey. General, go for the polygar. Artillery limber up so we can redeploy. No, why have you deployed in such a weird long line? Excellent, keep wounding the polygar. Gunners redeploy, although this, so this. Despite being a simple battle on paper, it's actually got quite tasty. Right, withdraw. Look at these gunners that can unlimber to unlimber as soon as they can. they need to start engaging the enemy camels. Oh, a shrapnel shot of that unit of camels, yes. Expecting that. Especially when they blow through my own men like that. Good for them. No, all my gunners. Round shot that unit of Pindari horsemen. Get my general involved over here. Hit the dervishes. There we go. Guns engage. Oh, the cavalry have run. Have ran. Tearsman, get up. Excellent. All of you engage this unit of peasantry. Yes, you can open fire on us if you like. But it's going to cost you. Gunners engage the Pindari horsemen. That's what it looks like. It's up to my up to my gunners just to shoot at them, although they are going to wisely. Stay away. So let's lure them in with a unit of cuirassier.
Mm. Are you going to stop me from killing all your friends? So we're running through the impact zone of all those shells. Just charge them because they're not doing anything. Ah, oh, nuts. I was hoping I'd be able to do a bit more than that. Very well. Looks like I need to take my infantry line as a whole. Oh no, they're coming back. There we go, they want to kill my cavalry. That's exactly what I was hoping you would do. So, super messy. Ooh, let's, let's, have, let's have a bit of coffee <laughs> before I carry on. So we have a complete army. The enemy is annihilated. We have an army ahead of us, but only a very weak one. And what we can do is we can do a bit of the old switcheroo. You men come back to Jane to replenish. Push forward a full strength army to Udaipur. Get the stuff upgraded. Anticipate them doing some raiding, but I don't mind, because right now we are sprinting towards Akbarabad. Also, you just sprinted for that. You, with your company army, want to go for Lahore. You, with your company army, want to go for Srinagar. And then you are going to come up behind and fill in the gaps, which means you aren't really necessary. You can go and secure this crossing. You're going to Naroon. In, in time, both of these will go to Naroon. So, because things are going really well, let's make sure we are um, positioning ourselves appropriately for the future conflict. So, you men need another unit of sharpshooters or some other light infantry. I think, oh, Cazador, that's it. Cazador. And then you've got eight units, eight things of infantry you can get. So let's get, no, not colonial line. Two, three, four, five. Two of the last raw car infantry guard. And then let's get a unit of garrison guards. Okay, good. Because when the war kicks off, it's probably going to be huge and we're going to end up fighting everybody. So even here in Rome, let's start. Regiment of Horse, you two cuirassier. Excellent. Because Austria is going to be the ideal target. So that's why you're ready to jump on to Lviv. You're ready to jump on Assi. You're defending Kiev. We're ready to jump on Sweden. Let's take... So you can recruit a few more ships. Let's make sure that's done. Do you want to try and bottle up the Baltic when it happens? There it is. Let's get a batch of thirds. And then in London, General's Bodyguard... So, Curassier, Curassier, Sharpshooter. That's the last battery of heavy horse artillery recruited. And there we go. We've got another army here that's ready to jump on Copenhagen and Norway. This will be necessary because as we surge up through here. Um, Persia is going to fall quite quickly. We could push from the same up here, but I'm actually quite happy just to squeeze them up towards Ardabil. So let's hit end turn. Let's see how the world panics. Spain is still doing Spanish things. The Ottomans and Savoy are still sparring in the Middle East. 
which is good for us because at some point we must turn on Spain. Turn on Savoy, rather. They want to give us Estonia for Naples. That's a bad trade, and shortened carbines isn't enough to help with that. I'm pretty sure Sweden hates us, so it's only a matter of time before they turn on us. Marathas appear to not want to bolster their positions in their cities. They instead want to send raiders forward, which is fine. But it's not going to produce the outcome they want. So here comes the first ship of the Saxon Navy. Come on, let me in. Let me in, let me in. Sean, yeah, we just researched Sean Carbine, so no wonder that would have, have been an even worse offer. Pat now. Oh, I forgot to do that. Get rid of you. We don't need two pleasure gardens and a brothel. Let's knock down the brothel because we need to re rebuild you with a religious building. This army may not be a garrison army because it's got the heavy horse guard artillery. You're being dismantled. I didn't check the roads either. New town emerges in Cherokee territory. Good. New port emerges. Can't right. Here you go. Have a trade port. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Konigsberg in East Russia. Just keep the military buildings upgraded. Laredo gets a water powered cloth mill. Get a sloop to sit in here. So even though I can see all the hammers, I'm going to keep focusing on just going through the list before I start uh, exploring any hangers on that I've missed. Tea plantation. Lots of top tier upgrades. Good. Okay, so we have missed this Jesuit college, this farm. No, not a military governor. Right, so you. Oh, you smash them. The Indian Royal, Royal Indian Guard, no less. She might have gone that way. The howitzers can go the way they wanted to go, largely. So. You men get to Barabad. They got a big garrison, but we're gonna let them. We're gonna siege them for a while. Okay, good. You men go. We we're gonna go more into the desert. So you can't need to worry about him because we can't get to him. So you can actually come over here and get into the go into the howitzers. No, no general's bodyguard. Get some cuirassier. Let's get a company cavalry and a native Indian lancer unit. Another unit of artillery, then another unit, then one unit of Indian infantry mercenaries. I haven't recruited enough of them. You're going to push out and attack these raiders. Yeah, they're kind of unhappy, but they'll get used to it. 
Because you may try to go up here and cut off Persian support. So I'm going to let you replenish for another turn before attacking. They may well sally and attack us, and if they do, that's okay. There we go, more recruitment. Okay, let's see how what the Ottomans do. I wonder if I'll push them out of Jerusalem. Okay, now they're really starting to want to trade. So they want Karelia and Ingria, so these two regions, and they're willing to offer Estonia, Finland, and Norway. So they almost want to migrate their entire empire eastward. And uh, no. See, we love them. We really like Sweden, but they hate us. But we're allies. And if you attack us, then we will invade. Narun is bulking up. Saxon's going to Saxon. But no Mughal Sally. They all kind of bumped into each other. Actually, no, just get there. You do have a cavalry unit that was recruited. I'm just not sure where it was recruited from. How far has it got to run? So you're going to wait. You're going to hold here, and then we're going to jump on Zahid and with them by amphibious assault. Okay, let's get another round of building done. Commercial port in Ingria. Good, good, good. Leave no region behind. Maximise our investment in the economy. So let's get all of these actually in Hyderabad. A bit overkill to have so many church schools now, so we needed them so sooner rather than later, but we don't necessarily need them now. Kintak territory. Okay, right. So we got all these in Hyderabad. Madnagar's being upgraded. All these building upgrades in Rajputana. Good. Uh, okay, so now you're the one that's in best condition, although you have no howitzers. So really... You are going to get some howitzers, and they're probably going to chase you up to the front. You keep punishing. You're almost at Lahore. Have they got a garrison? Kind of. Okay, you maybe... Yeah, you're okay to keep pushing. So you're going to stay here and help out at Barabad. You're going to push towards Lahore. You're going to push towards the bridge. We don't really care about if there's too many raiders behind us. So you're waiting on one thing, I'm assuming. Okay, push up. You're already pushing. Like I said, I'm going to keep the uh, keep the replenishment going. Oh my god, the Indian mercenary is coming all the way from over here. You can build a church school, build a craft workshop. 
You men leave Calcutta. Then we're going to stand up before we build any... Oh, no, 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 not recruitment, no, no, no. In the city. We're going to build up an army with some Indian mercenaries in it. You... You know, it's faster to just move everyone by ship, but I like moving everyone by land. Okay, your uh, company cav... You're chasing down Mr. Vaz. You will get there, because you're cavalry. You will outpace them. And again, let the replenishment continue. Although you're now... You're in position. Let's use you... To attack the city. You can continue... You can actually try to push more towards the middle area. Let's take it, Barabad. Their current capital, push them onto Lahore. And then their capital is. Well, after Lahore will be Naroon, and that will be the end of the enemy faction of the Maratha Confederacy. Then we'll surge up through Persia, take Esfahan, then we will attack the Ottomans at uh, Baghdad, and then we will push onto Ankara. Okay, we want to deploy over here. My howitzers up front again because based on what the last happened last time, um, they are going to have a load of infantry in the centre. So we want to quick line the hell out of it. You'll be okay there. Move up the company cavalry. Poor devils, because they are at the perfect angle to be nuked. Shells away. No good hits. E man ceasefire. I don't want them to attack the. I don't want them to put a breach in before we get a chance to have at least one good hit with the howitzers. Still reloading. Shells away. There we go. That's what you wanted to see. Stupid AI. In which case then, we will go for the gun, go for the reach, and we will advance, because uh, they're not going to stick out, stick this out very long. Set one unit to actually attack an actual uh, enemy unit. Okay, let us speed up the time and advance because right now it's just going to be. Oh, oh how it's is shooting. So one's attacking that unit, one's trying to lob shells in the centre still. Still getting valuable kills. Full artillery is going after this section of the wall. Yeah, you better run. So here comes the ugly guards. I really don't like this scheme for the green and pink. We're all advancing. Sepoy troops, company infantry. I like the standard though. Huzzah. 
Okay, now run, because the mortars are, the mortars are starting to engage us. The bouncing shot. Killed a bunch of their guys. More howards of fire inbound. Ah, oh, another excellent hit. So many enemy dead, including their mortar team, I think. Look, there's a couple back here that are ready to rock and roll. Okay, so... This unit's going to lock down here. What we're gonna do? We're gonna button up this area. Let these guys scale the wall. And they won't like that. Cavalry will help out. Here they come. You men make ready. Present. Got some shots off at point blank range. Make sure my general's up here. It's nice of them to charge my guards. So the howitzers attack both gaps. As they as they push to try and intercept our men assaulting the walls. They will in fact be sending their own men to the slaughter. Yeah, they're pushing. Go get him. Okay, you men don't do anything. You men just get on the wall. Oh god, that's glorious. You men seek to kill that wall. There we go. For some reason it wouldn't let me charge them. I had to run into them. So I've got one unit attacking the light. Oh no, everyone's everyone's attacking their peasants. Now they're pushing towards the entrances. So they're gonna get lashed by musket fire. The howitzers are gonna clear them out. Excellent. Get my guns to engage the breach as well. Push my howitzer fire just a bit further inside the fort now. Yon Poplis is upset. They're bringing in some Hindu warriors as backup, but they don't have very many of those. Oop, trying to cark a shot on my cavalry. go around the flank because if I, these guys may when they take this gate they may take all of them go on you men you've got to fight your way off the walls they will not let you Taking this one. Yeah, let's get this cavalry over here rapidly. I'm still clearing them out as they try and push outside of the walls. 
you're firing at probably the wrong people. You're reinforcing the combat over here. Bend them off. They've got you penned into a corner. Oh, they're going after my general. Exceptional hits here. All right, you men break your way in. Power says switched around sharp. Attack to center. Soon that unit's going to shatter. There we go. Now we're in. The enemy troops that are trying to withstand us are, are running. Howitzer seats fire. This regiment of foot. Secure the garrison, the mortars. Sepoys, run over here to help support the units fighting in the corner. Go get them. You men get over here and attack the units in the breach. Attack the units in the gates, rather. For thematic reasons, you men go secure that gate. Get the gunners. There we go, the 44th foot guards. Muskets aloft. I think we've just killed the Mort's crewmen. Got on the officers up front. He's going to hit these men in the rear. That's probably going to be quite decisive. Oh, it is. It is decisive. The garrison has broken. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So where's your university? Because you do have one. There it is. Rip it down. We can build all the cloth mills up. That's okay. I would wager once we get rid of the university, lots of our problems go away. Minus 14. The climate reforms... Well, the lower classes, it won't help quite so much. But it'll be down to minus... It'll come down to minus two, then minus one immediately next turn. And if we replace you with a church school, then we'll start chipping away some of this religious unrest as well. Nice. Okay, infrastructure. Get some better roads. No one is in a position to really do anything. The last few techs are being researched. Let's hit end turn. So you probably want another army to co to cover the northern route from Savoy into our territory. Oh, there's an industri industrial building at Warsaw that needs upgrading. What will you offer today? Estonia, Finland, Norway, for Hanover, Lithuania, Newfoundland. No. Go on, Sweden. Break your alliance with me. Be the one to... Oh, okay, you're going to try and run. Be the one to break the alliance. Be the one to drop this entire continent in into war. That will be perfect. Because then we'll gobble up Sweden. That's another, <clears throat> that's another enemy gone. Then we will... Be able to we'll just focus on someone else. Persia's going to be somewhat panicking. There. Uh, yeah, just auto it. <laughs> Genoa's going to invade somewhere, that's for sure. Oh, 
You, so they traded regions. Well, you think you're, you think you're saving yourself, Ottomans, but I'm afraid. Allied with Persia and Venice, we're already at war with Persia and Venice. Cancel trade with the Ottomans. Declare war. Don't call our allies. Because they're not calling the allies because they're already at war with Austria and, and um, Savoy anyway, so... So you men go in. Demand the surrender of Naroon. Church, school, industry. Okay, I might bring you guys south to help protect Naroon then, rather than leaving you too exposed. Okay, you're going over there. Okay, first of all, building. New town emerges. Bopal in Malwa. New port emerges. Puri. Nice. Good. Okay, I've got the engineer's school. That's all okay. Okay, so then you get a sloop. Okay, Steven, so. Commercial basin in Ingria. Soon we'll be at a point where we don't have to do quite so much. Uh, upgrading because we'll have maxed everything out because we're making great progress. Good. I mean, all this upgrading isn't strictly necessary because we don't really need to do any of it. But, in the event that we do need to suddenly ramp up our recruitment for whatever reason, or we need to build a bunch of armies somewhere to help plug some gaps and so on, I think then we'll be able to do that. So, Daipur, get metal roads, my agent push on to Zahedan. So they've goofed, because I don't think they're within range to help out. No, they aren't. The idiots. So they're not within range to help Lahore. And that's a massive balls up. So upgrade you, upgrade you, replace you with church school. Let's go to Europe and pick up that industrial building in Poland. There we go. I mean, ultimately, we could now try and yoink Ankara, but actually what we can do is yoink Yerevan. Just put them under siege. Ooh, risk is of souls. That's fun. But yeah, put them under siege. We're under no urgent risk to secure it for now. And you are here. I mean, we're going to fight. We're going to declare on the Ottomans anyway at some point. So, it's not a huge deal. Let's upgrade the port. Get this sloop up here just to see if Basra is defended. No, it is not. No trade for you. So, I want to get my agent up to see what's what. It's a heathen. Well, I could probably just deploy you. But I don't want to just yet. You're waiting for reinforcements. Okay, so... Get you guys to the crossing point because, looking at the timer, I think we're going to end the episode here. Right! With this fairly lackluster, but still very, very, very uh, powerful battle, which will destroy the Marathas forever, because they've decided to push southwest to attack us. It hasn't worked. 
they are now unable to protect their last city. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of the Marathi Confederacy. Cheers everyone.